Ladies and gentlemen, great day ahead of us. In front of us, we're gonna unbox and review the newest electric fireplace, which I'm excited to get my hands on and set up because in a secondary portion of my home, it doesn't get very good heat. And I want something that looks good and that's something that will function and keep me warm. Here in Colorado, heat is a big thing. I work from home and I don't wanna be cold while I work, especially because I am in a full remodel and my office is in the unremodeled part. And while I'm getting this out, top link in the description box below will be the same exact electric fireplace. They do come in different colors. Check out that link, see what other people are saying about it. Pick one up yourself after the video is done. Let's get this out. Okay, so I got it in the gray color and it does have legs on it that we need to install or it comes with legs, I should say. The legs aren't on them yet. And here is the color, if the light's being able to pick that up. It's in a nice deep gunmetal gray. They do make it in a black or a white beige color. So let's put the legs on, then we'll take a closer look at it. That, my friends, is pretty cool. So, legs set up in just a few minutes, and I really like what I'm seeing here. So the legs are above the ground. I have cord management in the back, connected to my outlet. Obviously, this is not the permanent location. I'm gonna be putting this in my office, but this room is a real remodeled room so it looks a little nicer to present it in here. Anyway, let's go ahead and open up the doors here. As you can see, this one, the left one, needs to close first. There's that little sill right there and then that closes there. So you do have some stickers, some warning labels, grill surface gets hot. It isn't a dark color, but I'm, I'll go ahead and peel those off and remove those here. But the heater blows out of the top here, and that is 1500 watt, running at 12.5 amps with 5100 BTU. Across the top is gonna be 23 and a half inches across the widest part. We have 24.3 inches tall and 10.7 inches wide. And if I haven't mentioned it already, it does come with a remote control, which is really nice with a battery, just slip out the little battery protecting cover so it doesn't authorize the battery during usage during shipment. Also inside here, when you do get it for the first time, you'll have some stickers here, here, and then remove a small piece of film over the touch buttons here. So as you can see here, we have the on and off button right here. So we can go ahead and turn that on or off. Obviously a remote control does the same thing uh, here. So we hit the timer and then you have a little digital LCD right here that shows up in the middle and then goes away. So let's hit that one more time. It says, hi, you can dim it as well. So there it is dimmed. There it is on 27. Uh, L3, sorry, that's upside down, uh, four and five. So there's the dimmest, second dimmest, third, fourth, and the brightest setting right there. And then these LED lights go off in a little bit there, but then again, very touch sensitive if you do touch it like that. So this one is gonna be the heater, and right now it's starting to heat up and it's blowing out right here. Second one right here is gonna be the fan speed, and then of course the fan. You can speed it up. Here's three. Here is four now. And then five. I'm sorry, five is the fastest. So that's really cranking. That's almost like a natural fire right there if the wind's going at it. That's pretty cool. And then going back to one, just a little bit slower, kind of a nice little Christmas vibe there. I like it. Now the dimmer here, again, has five different controls, L1 through L5. The flame dims L1 to L5. L5 is the brightest. And if you press the dimmer for six seconds, the appliance will go into sleep mode, all the lights off and the heating function goes on. Press for six seconds again, the appliance will be back to normal mode. So let's go ahead and do that here. One, two, three, four, so actually less than six seconds. So heater stays on, all the lights go off if you want it for sleeping time and you're light sensitive. And you go ahead and press it one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000. So it's actually a little less than six seconds. And then it comes on again. Here we have the heater up here blowing nice out this direction. The timer, you can do one to eight hours. And the heater, you can go no heater or blower where this one dash blows max 500 watts warm air, two dashes. The heater blows hot air 1500 watts max with hot air. So the sound of it will stay the same. It will just kind of blow out. It would be like a very soft white noise machine. This is on the 500 watt setting and it's not very loud. Again, a very nice soft white noise machine. I'm gonna go ahead and crank it up. There's our two dashes to 
1500 watt and the blower doesn't really increase but the heat will increase so i didn't notice any volume up or getting louder at all let me go ahead and click it down right here with you so there's one again and so the blower seems like it stays continuously the same noise level for 500 watt heat or 1500 heat, which is nice. So after I turned off the unit, the heat will go down and turn off. The blower fan will stay on for just a little bit and then we'll go ahead and turn off after a little while. I'll try to keep you posted on how long that is. And if you are wondering, the doors are magnetic, meaning they do not just swing open. They are latch shut by magnets. Okay, that was about 30 seconds or so, maybe 40 seconds max by the time I hit the button to that turning off, eh, 30 to 45 seconds, guesstimation. So again, these open up. Magnetic, magnetic, nice and sturdy. I like what I'm seeing. I think you could even have this inside of a van life van if you really wanted to, and those would probably stay closed on you. I'm giving them pretty good force, not until about right there do they break open from the magnets. So that's very sturdy. I would definitely recommend this for a van life. It might suck down your batteries, but you could try it out, especially if you have solar panels or just wait till you're hooked up to short power. Now I actually have a different model unit than this that I've had for many years now. And what I actually did is I took a smart plug and I plugged the electric fireplace into the smart plug so that I could use speech with my Amazon devices to turn off the electric fireplace. And while I'm thinking about it, something I just thought of. I know that we can have just the heater on without the lights, but I want to know if we can have just the lights on. Yes, now that I'm thinking about it, you definitely can, okay? So, the heater is not on right now, and we have the lights on. Now, even with just the lights on and without the heater on, there is just a very subtle humming noise coming from the lights. It almost sounds like a very, very, very subtle refrigerator, that kind of hum. I don't think that would disturb you at all. Let's listen and see if the camera can pick that up. Good news is you can have your lights on out the heater. I used to do that when I lived in Southern California because we didn't need the heater. And I would actually tell my Amazon device, to turn it on while I'm watching TV after the gym. The lights would flicker on and I would get a beautiful glow of a fireplace without the heat. And so I thought that was a really cool feature, which is nice to know that that is possible. Okay, something I do wanna test as well. Okay, good. So the remote control works when the doors are closed as well. The remote sensor they're saying is right about, somewhere right around the top portion right through here somewhere. Let's get a distance test on it. Right now I'm about eight feet away or so. Let's see what we got here. And it turns on, awesome. Let's try like 12, 13 feet and sweet, it works, awesome. So if you're sitting on your couch far away from it and we just turned on and we just turned off, I don't know if the camera picked that up or not, very cool. I'm glad the remote works from a distance if you don't wanna plug in a smart plug. And this is what I mean by a smart plug right here. You plug the electric heater into this, program that with your Amazon Google devices. You'll be able to do speech to on and off. It's a cool function. And if you are wondering, it has been off for a little while. And I mean, not even warm to the touch on the top of it right here. Here, not even warm to the touch and it's only been off for a couple minutes. That was on the low setting though. Let's take a look at the lights here now that it is dark. But as you can see here, I've changed. This is probably one of my favorite color scheme right here. You have a nice yellow glow of the logs and then you have the red in the background. Now I'm gonna keep the heater off here just so we can have a little less blowing towards the camera here. But let's go ahead and take a look at the different color schemes. So we're gonna go color A. Color A will turn that a blue and yellow if you kind of like that. Not the biggest fan of the blue, but some people are, so I'll leave that up to you. And then you click it over, and then it's like kind of a, I almost wanna say like an orangey. Actually, I might like that one a little bit better than the red, but let's go through them. And then here is, I think more blue with a little bit of yellow. And then we go back to the red. So yeah, you know what? I think I kind of like this one a little bit better. So I think this is my now my new favorite color scheme right here. Okay, now going over to color B. 
Color B will turn the logs right here red. We hit it again, it'll turn them a matching of the one in the back. And then I think that's a deeper red and then the yellow. So I like this one the best right here. So color B will change the logs and color A will change the background there. Now let's talk about heat here. So even though this is right next to my computer setup right here, if it's pretty chilly in here, I actually like to crank it on 1500. I like to crank it on the high and you you can see that by the double lines right there and then of course off and then the single line right there so let's crank it on the double as that heats up now something to keep in mind it is nice and toasty next to me while i'm working now in the perfect world there would be another little heat vent down here for your feet and so this is kind of at my leg level here so while I'm working at the computer, my whole side body here is very nice, but I do wish it would at least blow down that direction as well. You could come up with something fancy dancy if you really wanted to, that could kind of angle that so the wind would blow that way a little bit. But I did notice that I wish my feet were a little bit more toastier last night while I was working, but this even right now feels great next to me. And I really like the remote feature. I didn't think I was gonna use it that much, but when I get up from the desk, and let's say I forget, I don't have to push out my chair, I don't have to open it up, I don't have to hit any knobs, I simply turn it off like that. That will lower and turn off like we already mentioned in earlier in the video. Overall, it's a thumbs up in my book. I like the color schemes. Again, top link in the description box below will be your heater link where you guys can read more about it. Pick one up yourself. If you wouldn't mind, thumbs that video up on your way out. Helps the channel and the YouTube algorithm. But please don't go into debt for anything that I do make a video about. But if you do have the cash and it does intrigue you, please go ahead and purchase on away. Also subscribe if you like videos like this, tech videos, house DIY builds, van life builds. Once again, your link is right below the video. Take care, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.